How do you get shit wrong? I'd probably get more done in a day than most, what most people get done in a month. People ask me all the time, well Dan, how do you get so much done? Oh, I don't have time, Dan. Well, the question is, it's not that you don't have the time. You and I have the same amount of time as Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jack Ma, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. What's the difference? The question you should be asking yourself is, how can I devote my time to something important? How can I devote my time to something that will move me closer to my goals? That's what you want to focus on. Because anything that you do, you have so much task. I have so much to do every single fucking day. But what do you focus on? Ask yourself, is this, move, is this moving me closer to my goals? Is this moving me closer to what I want? Is it gonna make me money? Is it gonna benefit my family? Is it going to make me richer? Is it gonna make me happier? Sometimes I believe laziness or busyness is a form of laziness. People get so busy, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm so fucking busy, I'm doing so many things. But are you producing results? Are you actually producing results? That's the most important thing. That's what I'm talking about. You have to make that choice. Rich people, we are busy too. The question is, I'm constantly focusing and consciously focusing on things that I cannot delegate, that are worthy of my time. So let me give you like three simple tips. Number one is you want to be absolutely ruthless about your outcome. Absolutely ruthless about your outcome. Because when you're thinking about it, most people, they get a lot of stuff, they have a lot of tasks, but they don't know why the fuck are we, are you even doing it in the first place? What is this gonna produce? How is it gonna affect my life? You want to be absolutely clear about your outcome because sometimes you notice, if you're clear about your outcome, the way you get there might change. The way, the task that you have to do might change or you might think of ways to do more effectively, more efficiently. So be absolutely ruthless about the outcome that you want. Are you trying to increase your air revenue? Maybe you're thinking I need to get more customers, but maybe that's not the fastest way to get there. Maybe if you're clear, I want to increase my revenue. Maybe the fastest way is to sell more to my existing customers or to increase my price. Whatever it is that will get you there faster, that's one thing. And the second thing I, would, I believe is you want to think about six things, six items that I want to accomplish every single day. Six important things. Not 10, not 20 now for you watching this, maybe you start with one or two, because most people don't even get one fucking important thing get done in a month. So six important things, big major important items every single day. I planned it the night before, so today, I have six items that I want to cross off my list. You think about it, six items, six important items times five, assuming you work five days a week. That's 120 important things every single month accomplish that will move you closer to your goal. Third tip is don't keep everything in your head. Don't keep everything in your head because when your mind is cluttered, you have no clarity. And without clarity, you don't have the ability to act because clarity is power. And power is the ability to take action. So what you want to do is you want to get clarity. Pen and paper. Write everything out. Don't just keep it in your head. Write everything out. And then if you want to use a, some kind of application you know, from your smartphone, that's perfectly fine. I like paper and pen. That's the easiest. So don't keep everything in your head. And more importantly, you have heard of the saying, you know, how do you eat an elephant? How do you eat a big, big elephant? One bite at a time. That is fucking wrong. Here's what you want to do. Bite more, bite off more than you can chew, and then you chew like crazy. You got this? Now get the fuck out of here. I gotta get changed.